You are almost finished with your draft. So what else needs to be written? At the beginning of this 100 day journey, it seemed like such a long time, but here we are at day 91. Hello, if we haven't met before, I'm Dr. Denise Thomas, and I am a professor, counselor, podcaster, YouTuber, and author. I've also been your guide on this 100 day journey to writing your book. As we are coming to the end, of that journey. Today, I want to talk about those little pieces of your book that need to be written that you may not have thought about at all until now. Here are some ideas of things that you might want to include in your book. Do you want a quotation at the beginning of the book? Would you like quotations at the beginning of each chapter? Do you want to write a few paragraphs to introduce sections of your book? Have you decided to include a table of figures or maybe a table of art that follows the table of contents in your book? Maybe your book has a conclusion that summarizes the book. Is your book going to include an index? Does it have appendices? Now your book may not need all of those. In fact, it may not need any of those. It's your book. You get to decide what goes in it. But now's the time to start to make some of those decisions if you haven't already. You may not write all the content for these extra sections that you want to include in your book. You can finish that during editing. For example, you won't do the index until you're done with editing because otherwise your page numbers would be a mess. However, if your book is going to include any of these sections, you do want to at least add in the headings as placeholders so you know that they are coming and they need to be addressed. I want to encourage you to write as much of this as you can before you set the manuscript aside. In fact, write most of this before you even do your read through, which we're going to talk about next week. However, if you're like me, by the time I get to this phase of the process, I'm tired. I don't have a lot of energy for the project. Some of these loose threads can really linger and I'll kind of limp along and I'll play at them, but I won't be very productive with my time. And if you're like that, don't do it. Don't waste your time lingering along, trying to tie up these threads. Instead, just put the headings in there, put the bullet points in there, drop your ideas in the place where they're going to be needed and trust that you can address all of this during the editing phase you will have time to make it better and complete it. And that finishes your draft. No, it isn't ready to be published. No, it isn't fully complete, but let's draw the line in the sand and say draft is finished. Call it done. It's important to have an ending. It's important to have a stopping spot. You know, the transformation from rough draft to manuscript is ambiguous because there are all these loose threads. That is okay. I hope this week in this series of videos that I have convinced you that those loose threads are okay. We're going to do what we can to gather them up so that they get addressed, but also, we're going to build confidence in ourselves to trust that we will address them. This is not your last pass through the manuscript. If it feels unfinished or like it's not very polished or maybe even not very good, that's okay. It's just the draft. But now that you have a draft, you have what you need to make it better. The draft is finished. But before you set it aside, there is still one very important thing that you need to do. And we're going to talk about that in a couple of videos. It is the thing that you do that ties the bow on the draft and really makes it feel complete. So make sure you stay tuned because I've got more videos coming out to help you in these last few days of this 100 day journey. Thanks for joining me. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe. It really helps the channel and it also helps other writers out there who maybe don't yet know that they too can write a book.